Hello and welcome back to another video. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be terraforming Venus into completely habitable for life. So, hmm, at least seventy-five percent, if not eighty percent. So obviously, we would have to get rid of the atmosphere to fix atmosphere. And how would you do that? Well, the only possible way is to cool the planet down, so the atmosphere turns solid and freezes to the ground. How do you do that? Well, let's see. we got some very not dense things, so say we're just floating around some, you know, pyramid. You could probably get easier. Be a lot bigger than this. Probably a decent amount of level. It's got 24 hours. It would probably most likely be made of silicate. And its density would have to be a lot lower than that. It's a dunk in a ground pile. Meets it's cubes, and that is not what I wanted. Um, yeah, I guess it's masses locked there, locked up. And then how heavy would this have to be? Very heavy. Very, very heavy. We get it big enough. Let's see. We're done. Earth ocean. Colossal structure like this. Could probably go a bit about seven days. Here, yeah, let's pretend this is cooling Venus down. Um, so Venus cools down over time. Okay, so the atmosphere has now frozen. It's completely felt the ground and we've transported it over hundreds of years, if not 2,852. It's fully frozen, slowly coming down, very slowly. And yeah, we have a frozen wasteland. So now we have a slowly warming furnace. Slowly heating up. Right, so now after years of cooling, it is finally normal. Normal planet, quite cold, frozen. And um, it doesn't have any liquid water mass. Well, it does, but it's not that strong. We've got 15. Yeah, but that much. What if they have 30 meter sea levels, but not? And it hits. And Venus would have suitable sea levels. Nice sea levels, it would be very hot. We have Venus now. It's strange. It's frozen. And it would turn. It's funny. So that's it. Uh, that moon. Not its orbit to be normal. Its rotation would probably be around the wall. Let's just see how this rotates. Also, let's return the rotation period is a day or something like that. Let me see, it still rotates funny. What we can also do to do that is change the motion a bit more. What is this? Zero degrees, but obviously we know that's not true, so let's get that not bad degrees rotation. And now we have a functioning Venus. Obviously, not completely normal, but as you can see from the heat patterns, skip a couple of years again. Right, and let's uh, we're gonna have to sort it with sheets. Which in uh, what is all this ice doing? Right, so it does have very thick ice, it seems. Very thick ice, I can't be good. Good boy, I should go for vapor pressure. No, that's not good, so we would probably have to mount that, but let's just pretend that doesn't exist. And let's show the vegetation. All the planet would turn very good vegetation. Why is Earth just magically shielded though? No idea. Yeah, now it has single vegetation. Temperature's under 52 degrees. But nothing. Its rotation's normal. Its orbit 
Things go in five degrees, but not just about that one. You know, in the last seasons. Similar to F, why is... I have no idea why that was doing that, but yeah. Slowly over time, you see these ice slowly disappear. It's make time go a lot faster. Oh, the sea levels will slowly change, obviously. New generations, this ice caps will finally melt. After a long time, providing much more water. Um, pause it. Long now. Okay. Right, so a long time later, this is what we've got, melted ice caps. Big ice caps, completely melted, apart from some places. Nice little oceans, and a green planet that's Venus. That's a very habitable Venus, let's just hope it doesn't explore, and I'll see you next time. Bye.